In the previous video, we said that mastication produces a bolus of food. The tongue, essentially, as we can see from this animation here, pushes the bolus to the back of the mouth and is then swallowed and enters something called the esophagus. Okay? The esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube leading from the mouth to the stomach. The bolus is forced down the esophagus more quickly again can be explained by gravity alone. Waves of muscular contraction push the bolus down towards the stomach and these waves of contraction are known as peristalsis. And we now enter the stomach. This is one reason why fiber is so important in the human diet because it allows us to have a gut content that is very liquid and the muscles of the gut cannot squeeze the food along by peristalsis if it was too liquidy. Right. So now we have protein digestion beginning in the stomach. The bolus has now entered the stomach. So the stomach is a muscular bag with a lining that contains digestive glands which we now see here in this animation. These glands produce three important secretions. The first one is mucus, which we all know and love. This protects the walls of the stomach from attack from the stomach juices because they're quite acidic. The next thing that these glands produce is pepsin, which is a protease or a protein digesting enzyme. So remember in the mouth we started digesting carbohydrates through amylase, now we're in the stomach, we're starting to digest proteins. And the last thing that these glands secrete is hydrochloric acid, which you might be familiar with from chemistry class. Uh, these provide acidic conditions needed for the action of the enzyme pepsin, which we've just discussed, and also denatures the enzymes from harmful uh, microorganisms ingested in food, so we don't get hurt by those particular um, bacteria. Okay, so this is the glands. Okay, so moving along, inside the stomach the food is churned up with these gastric juices. The long protein molecules are broken down by hydrolysis into smaller molecules, which we're now seeing here in this animation, and to something called amino acids. So proteins are broken down into amino acids, just as the carbohydrates were broken down into malta and milk. The long uh, protein molecules um, are then broken down as we've seen and the pH of the stomach is too low or acidic for the action of the amylase in the mouth so the digestion of carbohydrate comes to a halt or stops whilst in the stomach. The churning action of the stomach muscles mixes the food into a creamy liquid called chyme Okay, and this is where the next step comes in. Okay, this is all getting very, very messy down in the stomach. Okay, and um, once the food is sufficiently liquid, it squeezes past the ring of muscle at the foot of the stomach called the pyloric sphincter. Okay, this muscle here, and it enters the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine where our journey will continue. So I'll just label that there. That's the pyloric sphincter. Um, you might be familiar with what happens if it gets too acidic down there. We get something called heartburn. But yeah, this is the point where the, um, the chyme leaves the stomach and then begins its journey down into the intestine, which is where our next video will begin.